Well, folks, there are a lot of people out there who are suggesting that Israel must use restraint, meaning they should really just stop what they're doing in the Gaza Strip because Hamas is hiding behind civilians. In order to make this claim, you have to act with moral apathy or moral lack of clarity. That breaks down into two groups, the idiots and the actually evil. The idiots are led by many in our celebrity class, our moral exemplars, our moral elite. They're completely disconnected from the American people and from reality. And they break down into basically two categories. One are the stupid, and two are the, are the cynical pro-Hamas. And they're not the same category. I'm not going to suggest, for example, that Pete Davidson on SNL is pro-Hamas. He's not. He's just a typical Hollywood idiot. Right? He's somebody who has reverted to all situations are the same, all morality is the same. I can't take sides here. I can't, I can't. Now, let, let's be real about this. Everyone should be mourning right now. Civilians murdered in Israel for the crime of being Jews. And members of the civilian population in Gaza who are murdered by Hamas. Okay, it is a Hamas murder. When you hide a child in front of your guns while you shoot at other people and the child dies in the crossfire, that is your problem. When I say your problem, I mean your moral problem. It's everybody's problem, but it's your fault. Okay, but the, the goal among our elite, again, for, for those who, are, who consider themselves morally sophisticated, what's amazing is how unable they are to make actual moral distinctions, like basic moral distinctions between the murdered and the people who are attempting to defend themselves. Well, that's what you got on SNL. And you saw so many, so many people in the, in the Twitterverse, the moral relativists, immediately, oh, isn't this so nice? Isn't this so nice? Because everyone is, okay, well, let's be real about this. Your moral apathy, and that's what it amounts to, sympathy that is equally distributed between Hamas and Israel amounts to a moral apathy that is effective for Hamas. What Hamas would like is for you to be morally apathetic about the situation and for you to for you to basically throw up your hands and say, too complicated, don't know. Okay, this is not particularly complicated. The side that murders babies in their beds for the crime of being babies, that's the bad guys. The fact that SNL has to do this sort of hands off, well, comedy will say, again, okay, if, if you're looking at these people for any sort of moral guidance, you two are a fool. Here was Pete Davidson on SNL, both sizing this thing. This week we saw the horrible images and stories from Israel and Gaza. And I know what you're thinking, who better to comment on it than Pete Davidson? <laughs> well, uh, in a lot of ways, uh, I am a good person to talk about it because when I was seven years old, uh, my dad was killed in a terrorist attack. So I know something about what that's like. Um, I saw so many terrible pictures this week of children suffering, uh, Israeli children and Palestinian children. When Pete Davidson's statement on this thing is basically suffering is bad. Yeah, we were, we are in agreement. We are in agreement. But suffering is bad is not a moral message. And unfortunately, that is the side that's taken up by so many of our moral sophisticates. We're seeing that from, again, Pete Davidson isn't, isn't a bad person for saying what he is saying. I'm not suggesting he is pro Hamas or anything for saying what he's saying. He isn't. What I'm saying is that when the, the focus of what obviously is a moral conflict becomes not the actual moral conflict between one side that is evil and one side that wishes to preserve its own citizenry. And it instead becomes all suffering is, is from the same source. And thus, if we could just make the suffering stop tomorrow by snapping our fingers, leaving Hamas in place to murder babies, that would be fine. Like, that's where this is going. And we can all see that it's going in that direction from, from our moral elites. How'd you sleep last night? Did you toss and turn? Were you too hot or too cold? If your sleep was not the best that it can be, you need to upgrade to the softest, most luxurious sheets from Bull and Branch. Let me tell you, Bull and Branch product, just spectacular. The sheets immediately change your sleep. They feel breathable. They get softer with every single wash. The Bull and Branch sheets are made from the finest 100% organic cotton threads on earth. They feel buttery to the touch. They're super breathable, so they're perfect for both cooler and warmer months. Their signature hem sheets were made with luxurious threads. They also fit the, the mattress perfectly. There's nothing more annoying than you go to sleep. You wake up in the middle of the night and your face is like directly on the mattress because the, sh the sheet slipped off the mattress. It doesn't work that way with Bull and Branch sheets. Bowling Branch gives you a 30-night risk-free trial, free shipping and returns on all orders. You're not going to want to return them. I'm telling you, Bowling Branch product is so good that I literally travel with it. Like when we went to Israel, I literally bought Bowling Branch blankets with me. Like their cable knit throw blanket is my absolute favorite. Sleep better at night with Bowling Branch sheets. Get 20% off your first order when you use promo code Shapiro at bowlandbranch.com. That's Bull and Branch, B-O-L-L-A-N-D, branch.com. Promo code Shapiro, exclusions apply. See site for details. Again, that's bullandbranch.com and use promo code Shapiro. In a world filled with uncertainty, you need to be prepared for any possibility. You need My Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply is your trusted partner for emergency preparedness. Whether it's a natural disaster, a sudden emergency, or unforeseen circumstances, My Patriot Supply's high quality food storage solutions ensure you and your loved ones 
are always well-fed no matter what comes your way. Obviously, the world's become a very risky place in the last few years. Whether you're talking about a natural disaster or, God forbid, a terror attack, you need resources in your home in case something goes bad. Right now, My Patriot Supply is offering $200 off a three-month food supply to help you stay prepared for anything. Go to preparewithben.com, grab the special price before it ends. Your three-month emergency food supply provides over 2,000 calories every day for optimal strength and energy in stressful situations. You can enjoy a wide variety of My Patriot Supply. You can even customize that supply. They offer an ultimate breakfast kit, a mega protein kit with real meat. They offer a gluten-free kit as well. Each meal is delicious, and they have a shelf life of 25 years. So you buy it, you stick it in the closet, you forget about it until you need it. Invest in your own safety and well-being by securing your food storage today. Go to preparewithben.com, get 200 bucks off your three-month emergency supply. Again, go to preparewithben.com right now. That's preparewithben.com. And the New York Times is doing the same thing. The New York Times has a long editorial that really struggles to explain why Israel should basically leave Hamas in place. They have an entire article titled, Israel can defend itself and uphold its values. It's amazing how they never suggest that the Palestinians ought to uphold, you know, basic human values in this particular conflict. No, it's about to, it's about Israel, obviously. And they admit that Israel is, is working to minimize civilian casualties. We'll get to that in a second. But instead of just recognizing the reality, instead they say, The United States has offered firm support for Israel in its hour of agony, but friendship also requires speaking hard truths to Israel, to Israel. So the New York Times is like, we have to speak hard truths to Israel. Um, what? Israel is a country that just got hit with the worst terror attack in the West since 9-11 and proportionally something that happened much worse than 9-11. But but you are now saying that America needs to pressure Israel. Why? Because in counseling restraint, the United States can point to lessons of its own recent history. I love I love the counseling for restraint after um after babies are murdered and then taken and, and, and survivors are are then bussed away to Gaza to be held in abject terror before they're murdered by Hamas. So that's the New York Times. Again, the moral sophisticates, the moral sophisticates who say that, you know, for your own morality, you have to basically you have to ease off. You have to ease off, obviously. That is not moral sophistication, it's it's moral foolishness. And then, of course, you have the most obviously stupid people like Sonny Hostin, right? So Sonny, Sonny Hostin, of course, did the Israel is doing war crimes routine, which is just pathetic. And she, she's she's a pathetic specimen uh, of, of immorality on, on virtually every scale. Here she is. But I do think that what we need to remember is that there is an international human rights body of law. And when you look at that law, part of it is retaliation against Innocent civilians collectively is also terror and is also a war crime. And again, those are not my words. Those are the words of the law. And the president of the European Commission, those Ursula the the von der Leyen, said just last year when we were all talking about Ukraine, she said Russia's attacks against civilian infrastructure, especially electricity, are war crimes. Cutting off men, women, children of water, electricity, and heating with winter coming, these are acts of pure terror and we have to call it as such. And so what I'm saying is, but, yes, I think those that are around the, uh, the wow. other Arab countries, Israel actually bombed the only exit out of Palestine to Egypt. That is not true. Israel did not bomb the Rafah crossing. Egypt has closed the Rafah crossing. But Sunny Hostin is an idiot. So she's immediately sh- shifting into Israel is the real problem in the region mode. And again, I'm going to I don't know which category to put Sunny Hostin in. But the attempt to draw moral parity between the people who kill children and the people who are attempting to avoid killing children, but cannot avoid killing children if the bad guys are hiding behind children, that that's absurd. I mean, Sunny Hostin, I'm going to put her in the idiot category mainly because she also says things like Hamas is just like the Proud Boys, which, listen, I'm not a fan of the Proud Boys, but I noticed that the Proud Boys are not going around slaughtering babies in their cribs. I noticed that. But Sunny Hostin is up again. The, the, the fact that, that there is this class of people who are considered uh, part of the political conversation uh, is, is amazing to me, remains amazing to me. Sonny, you want to say something? No, I just, I, you know, I, I look at this from a legal perspective, and I think that we all know that Hamas no, has been designated uh, a terror organization, just like many other terror organizations have had this designation, like the Proud Boys here in the United States. Amazing. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 